Hello, this is Tamal. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Prettier to auto format your source code. So whenever you are writing code, making a formatted code is going to make it look professional and make it look easy to read. So oftentimes we spend a lot of time trying to manually indent them or make them uh, formatted. So why not do it automatically using an extension called Prettier. So to do this just go to VS Code extensions and search for Prettier. Okay, this is the extension called Prettier Code Formatter. Let's just click on install. It's installed. Now if I go back to my source code sample HTML you can see that it's not well formatted if I just click on save control s for save and it's now well formatted and it has a nice intent of two spaces that I want you can see all of them are nested properly and this is something that I would like to have on my code and even if I mess the formatting a little while trying to write something and do something this way and hit control s and it will still auto format and maintain the formatting for me so let's take a look at a sample css you can see that i have written some rust css and these are not all formatted and confusing well so if i click on save it's going to nicely auto format the way that we have configured it for us Let's go to a sample JS. You can see that all the indentations are messed up. I have intentionally put a lot of spaces and over here because I'm going to use Prettier. Let's just click on Control S and all of them are saved automatically. Wow, that's good. Let's check out some sample JSX, some React file. It's a React component. If I click on Save, it's going to be auto formatted you can see that here um, there's a prettier check mark it's going to auto format your code whenever you save the code so it's a handy tool that you you would like to use so let's talk about another situation let's say you you have downloaded some other source code and you they have used four spaces instead of two spaces and uh here you can see I have added semicolons. They may be not using semicolons. So if you run, run your VS uh, in the source code to your prettier, it will add semicolons and change their four spaces into two spaces. So that will lead to some conflicts in the styles. So it's a better way to use a prettier RC a configuration file. Uh, let's go to settings. Click on extensions. Let's find out prettier. Um, settings. Prettier. I think I need to reload. It's already installed. Let's go to settings, extensions, uh, where's that prettier? Okay, uh, uh, it's okay, sometimes happens. I need. To, I have installed and uninstalled it so, mu so many times that uh, <laughs> VS Code is now messed up. So let's go to extensions and over here, I okay, I see the prettier right now, no worries. Okay, so go here all the prettier settings and uh, check on prettier required configuration file that now prettier will not auto format unless you have a configuration file so let's go here go to our source code and over here now let's just mess up some formatting and see if it saves let's just click on save it's not working and a prettier is showing a X mark. So um, to do this, just 
create a new configuration file called dot prettier rc and what to put put it here just go to google and search for prettier configurations the first uh, first url should be from prettier io configuration file and over here you are going to copy paste this json into your prettier extension file you can see that i am having tab width of 4 semi to false and single quote to true let's just save it and now if i go to prettier's prettier uh, let's say a sample json if i click on save it's going to add four spaces it has replaced all the double quotes into single quotes and it has removed the all the um, semicolons so you can do the same way with all other files that you are working on if I just go to sample JSX, it works the same way. So oftentimes, whenever you find some uh, code code based from other others uh, other developers, you'll find that they already have a prettier RC file included, and they will have all the styles over here. For me, what I do is to have tab width to set to two, and I set my single code to false. I want double quotes and I also set my semi to false if you want semicolons you can make it true and if you want tab width to 4 you can set it to 4 but for me I'm setting it to 2 so let's just save it and now go to sample JS and click on save and this time you can see that Prettier has auto formatted my code to have two space in indent and remove the semicolon and have all the quotes changed into double quotes i hope this has helped you learn something new and uh, get on coding if you if you find this video helpful please do give it a thumbs up and i'll see you on the next video bye